be phenomenal. You know, we're in these small streams, essentially the rivers, but it's pretty dry. Well, and there hasn't been much water. We've got some rain coming now, so we're hoping it gets, brings the river up, gets them moving. That's what we're hoping. So you know what? It's all about coho today. So we take you sport fishing on the fly. Oh, now no doubt what that is, Bri. That's a big coho. Man, the cartwheels. And it's great because they're just, you know, again, real slow retrieve, right? Yep. Right against, oh, oh. <laughs> that's just the best. And they're just, they're just swiping it. They're just coming and grabbing it out of aggression. Just awesome. Oh, that. oh that's a gorgeous fish. Wow, what a, I just love seeing those, uh, the skying, yeah. like he was just in the air. So <laughs> close to going to Alaska. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Just beautiful. Oh it's, oh, it's a chunk, that's a beautiful fish. Oh, he's all wound up on you now. Yeah, wound up on you, but that's sweet. We'll drag him up, oh, see if he can get you in close. And you got a little different pattern you're gonna oh, have to show everybody. I switched up. Oh no, did you? Yeah. To what? The Kelsey's? Ah, <laughs> Chatter did switch it up. That's one that's oh. coming. Oh, look at how fat that, that is. Big is that is a slab. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. We'll try to move you in and get you in closer to shore. I'll hand this one off here and I'll. Oh yeah. Oh man. Huge. And it's chrome, like it is just a slab. Oh, oh Bri. Wow. That's a big coal. That's a big coal. See how fat he was? So oh, deep. Oh, that's crazy. a northern. That is a northern, yeah. It's a big northern. Wow. That is gorgeous. He chomped. Your fly's done. He chomped it. Oh, oh, look at him whirling. Like he's just cool doing roll. cool whole rolls. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I hate that. I don't like that. Oh. Okay, back him up a bit. I got your back here. And then I'll try to fin him for you. In the corner. Oh, he's right in the corner of the line. Yeah, because that's what they do. They come in and just slash at it, eh? Just grab it. Semi beach him, you grab him. Yeah, yeah, you semi beach him and I'll grab him. Oh, he's just hanging, Bri. He's just hanging. All right, grab him. Okay. Oh, there he is. I got him. Oh, look at how fat he is. That thing, that is huge. Look at this. Look at that. That's got to be 20 plus. Like, that's huge. Look at how fat he is. Okay, Bri, you got him? I'll hold your rod, okay? You got him? Okay. Wow. Oh man, Bri. Look at him chrome too. He's just chrome. Look just at that, right on the side. But he's hooked pretty he's good. good. He's in the yeah. mouth. He's in the muscle, yeah. The yeah, he's in the tough part of the mouth. Ooh. I got pliers if we need them. Well, it's right in the uh, gristle. Well, that's good. The hook is pretty difficult. Yeah. Yeah, let's grab it. It is, it's really. There. Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's the biggest coal I've ever caught. No oh, kidding. Yeah. It's a slab. I what guess. A, look at how fat it is. Stunning fish. Gorgeous. Like, look at how fat. Oh, like, he's condition. like, just yeah, so fat. All right. He's 20 pounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jenner. That's a peach. Oh, yeah. And they're like, I got really snake 18. You got that was like 20. <laughs> They're just sweet in here. I've never had 
cold fishing like that. And we've got, and we're getting Chinooks and Chummies, everything. Fantastic. And there's a the fly. Hey, Kelsey, as soon as you put on Kelsey's, yeah. ba bam. <laughs> Unreal. Crazy. We're to the bench. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Good job, buddy. Well, Unreal. <laughs> Well, the thing too is we're casting right to the far bank. So what the cohort are doing is they're going right over to that far side. And they're sitting over there and they're spooling up and they're cycling back and forth. So you just got to make the cast right to that far bank and let it sink a bit. We're using sink tips, you know, 200 grain sink tips. Let it sink a bit and then start stripping back and they're whacking it. There he is there. Ho, 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 ho. Look at the size of that. Wow, look at the fly right here. Flip him over the other side here. Look at that, oh man, he's slow. Oh, look where that fly is, it's right there. There it is, Kelsey's out. I'm gonna hold this guy up, that's a, okay. Oh yeah, look at that, that's a slab coho. Look at that beast. You know, that's pushing, uh, I can't even, can't even estimate how much that is. 17, 18, like that is just a big, big coho. You know, keep their heads in the water. They're doing thing, but look at the colors. They're just starting to color up a little bit. Gorgeous fish, man. What a fight. And look at how fat they are. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, wow. Oh, and you got the big chum. The big chummies. Chummy. Big chummy. Yeah. There he is there, big chum dog. Look at the teeth on that guy. You know, there's yeah. hundreds of coho and you gotta cast right to that far bank. That's where all that, let it, like I said, let it sink a bit, we'll show you. Start stripping back, but there's, there's a fly. You know the Kelsey's hope. If you got a Kelsey's, they're all over it right now. They just love this pattern. So <laughs> we're gonna go to the bench tonight and tell you a bunch. This episode brought to you by The Frog Boat. Islander Precision Reels and Maui Jim. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up to Kelsey's Hope. Now, Kelsey's Hope was created by Nick Didlick for his daughter Kelsey and is probably the best coho pattern we've ever used. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a 4X long streamer silver hook, some 30D nano silk as a thread some silver medium tinsel or holographic fly fiber for the body, some UV clear finish or 10 pound mono to cover the body, some light olive crystal flash for the first wing, some green polar bear for the second wing, and some blue polar bear for the third wing. So to start the fly off, I've already put my thread on the hook and I'm gonna use some holographic fly fiber. I like this because it's got that hollow look to it, the holographic look, but the original is tied with silver tinsel, so both work. So tie this in right back to the, the hook bend, bring your thread forward, back to the eyelet, and start wrapping it up the body. And you want the silver side up, so you want a silver body on this fly. So now that we have the body tied in, I'm going to coat it. The original pattern, I actually put some 8 pound or 10 pound mono over the body just to protect the tinsel, but now that we have that UV clear finish, it makes a real nice body. So I'm just going to coat it and then turn it. So I'm going to coat the body with the clear finish and make sure you give it a good, you know, good coating. And once you have a nice body coating done, just so all that tinsel is protected, I'm going to take my bodkin to smooth it out. Make sure we get a nice smooth finish on that body, like so. Now what we're going to do is hit it with the UV light just to cure that body real quickly. And this will form a real nice UV body on the fly. Now 
Now that the body's tied in and we've got the UV coating on it, I'm gonna take about four strands of crystal flash. I'm just gonna tie it in as the first wing. So start near your eyelet and then wrap it on near the eyelet. Pull it back and you want these to extend just past the hook bend and just cut them off. And that's your underwing. Now that we have the first wing tied in, we're going to take a, just a sparse amount of our polar bear hair. And it's our green polar bear hair. And again, don't take too much. I've probably got, you know, about, uh, about 10 strands in there. Because we want to keep this very sparse. And just tie that in right at the eyelet. And create your second wing on the fly. Now that we have our second wing tied in, the green, we want to bring in the, the blue polar bear to finish it. And I want to go just slightly longer than my green. So we want to extend that back just a little bit further. And again, tie in at the eyelet. Now you can see I've left quite a bit of room at the eye because I want to form a real slim figure on this fly. And I'm going to create a nice dark bullet head on it. So we'll just wrap our thread. Now that all the wings are tied in, and we're going to create a small head on the fly. And we want this to be black. So we'll just wrap up that thread a little bit. And of course, to finish the fly, we take our whip finisher. And we're going to do a few whip finishes just to make sure that that thread is secured. And then what I like to do is finish with the UV coat again on the head. And uh, you can use head cement. That also works. But again, I like the UV coat to keep it consistent. So I'm going to coat that. Coat the head with the UV coat, and then hit it with the UV light to cure it. I don't want it fairly thick, I want a good size head on it. So there it is, the finished Kelsey's Hope. You know, again, this has been slightly modified. The original had the, the silver tinsel body, it had some mono to protect the body but I prefer the little bit of holographic tinsel in there and again, that body coating. And remember, if you're going for coho, you have to have one of these flies. So I just want to talk a little bit about how we're fishing it and the setup that we're using. So ideal setup, got an eight weight rod. So eight or nine weight rod is good because you're getting, you know, 20 plus pound Chinook Zen coho. I've got a dry line on here with a sink tip. So I've got actually a 15 foot 200 grain for an eight weight rod sink tip and from there I've got about so you know five and a half six feet to the fly and I'm using straight 20 pound fluoro so there's a setup and then ideally I'm just casting and we're casting along that far bank so we're just kind of bomb one out there just make sure you got a straight line and allow that fly to sink we're fishing about eight to ten feet so I'm just letting that sink tip get down and the fly to sink and then it's just straight pulls just to balance that fly. I'm just kind of bringing it along the bottom and trying to track those fish. And again, vary the retrieve, but I never go real, you know, real long pulls like this never seem to work good. And real short pulls don't seem to work good. Again, keep a nice steady pull. So again, just cast it out there. I'm gonna try to bomb it, try to bomb it all the way across. Let the fly to sink just a little bit. If you have to mend your line, mend it. And again, keep your rod tip low, key. And just nice slow pulls and just pull it through and you know all you're going to feel when that fish hits is the line tightens and as soon as it tightens if you have your rod tip in the water you're going to be able to get the take so i'll do it once more so again just get that fly line out zip it out there mend a bit keep your fly tip to the water that's so critical people hold their fly line or rod tip up here keep it down nice and low and actually even in the water and slowly bring it back, slow strips. And it's really good to stay in tune with your line. And what I mean by that is feeling it. I've got my, my other fingers on here and I can tell when I get a hit, I can just feel that pressure. So that's how we're doing it today. And we've had great luck with Kelsey's Hope, just a killer fly for the coho. And uh, Brian has a little pink, a little sparkle pink. So we'll see if it keeps working good. This episode brought to you by The Frog Boat. 
Islander Precision Reels, and Maui Gym. Probably dawn. Look at the size of them. <laughs> oh, heads up. He's going. He's big. He's got the big hook jaw and everything on him. Look at him there. Oh, look at the size of his yap. It's right in front of you, Don. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a big one. It's a big one. Watch it as it bites you there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's cool. The coho spin? Yeah. That is cool. Oh, the snout? Oh, you getting all that? Good. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> hey, can you get him? No. Oh, Brian. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I got to get a picture of that. Look, he ate my fly completely. Look at the size of him. Yeah. I gotta get a stilly of this guy. Here, I got pliers. Here, do you wanna hold that? No. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta get a. Oh, yeah. Look. Just to be safe. I'll yeah, take him up for these guys. Like, oh, look, at look at that. Like, that's gotta be 25 pounds. Oh, yeah. That's Just a, a toad. A monster. Just a monster. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Well, <laughs> quite a day. Oh, you know, we always talk, talk to everybody about using, you know, flies they haven't used forever, right? We pulled out the old halfback we used at White Swan <laughs> 20 years ago, and right, and today, you pulled your favorite out of the vault. Kelsey's Hope. Kelsey's yeah. Hope. But, Little. you know, the thing we found out is, uh, is what, kind of what you knew before, right, from the Campbell River days, Clo low, clear water for coho, critical to have small flies. Small flies. But here's the kicker. We had a bunch of small flies, but all they would hit was Kelsey's. Kelsey's. That's my number one. That's the one I pull it out of the vault. And I know, I just can't believe it's it. It's my number one coho fly. You know, the beauty is we got a couple uh, couple more days here. You know, we, yeah. we've got the big sparklers to try. Well, they're expecting that, rain, that so that'll, that yeah. should help the sparklers, Exactly, right? but what a time. Hey, Rugged oh. Point Lodge. Big fish. Would you nice come back? Rivers. I would come back. <laughs> you know, Harpy, you got a record. <laughs> Absolutely. Record. This episode brought to you by 